Hello, welcome in your first MindMapper 12 training video. My name is Arjen Trouve and I will be your personal trainer. I created a number of training videos which will help you to learn all you need to know about successfully using MindMapper to create practical and powerful mind maps. You will learn how to get your information out of your head, out of your, uh, out of your environment and onto the screen where you can have a look at it, play with it, organize it and make it smarter, make it better to understand, make it clearer. To do this we use MindMapper and there are a few things you need to know about MindMapper before we begin. You probably installed MindMapper already and then when you start it up you see something like this. Maybe not the first time but when you start it up later you will see something like this. This may seem a little bit overwhelming with all the things on the side and in the menu and don't worry about it, it's really easy, really simple. Uh, only a couple of things you need to do and understand to make smart, powerful mind maps. Right now, where well, we are looking at creating a practical mind map really fast, the only tab you need, and probably you don't even need it this time, is the home tab. All the other things, they're just there, but you don't need to look at them. So that's the first thing. Second thing, how to create a new mind map. Of course you can go to the big mind map button and click it and press this one. What happens then is that you can create a map based on a template. But usually when you're just creating a new mind map really fast, you don't need that. What you can do is you can press this little button which says a new control plus N. Or you can indeed press control N. You don't need to select a template then, you just get a blank, simple mind map. Um, as you can see, there's a, a goldish yellow box around the title, which means that this node is selected. And when we add information, it will be added to this node. And when we edit a node, it will be this node. Now how to add uh, information, simply start typing, press enter to confirm how to edit this uh, note. Well, you can use the mouse button and I strongly advise you not to use the mouse uh, too often because uh, you, you, you take your hands off your mouse onto the keyboard and then to your mouse keyboard. It's uh, when you're really mapping out your information fast, it's a lot of uh, actions. Simply keep your hands on the keyboard and start typing. Uh, now to change this title, you only have to press the return or enter key and we have a cursor and I can call this map for instance uh, smart mind mapping. I confirm with the enter key and it's there. Small tip, uh, don't use the, um, uh, the, the topics with a lot of words on it this way. What you can better do is drag the corner a little bit towards each other and then the text is outlined a little bit easier, a little bit um, shorter it seems to be to your mind than when you have something like this. So what we'll do is we'll drag this one inward and we'll make it a little bit higher to make it uh, look better this way. Okay, now as I told you, you can only add information if you have a point selected which you can add information to. How do you do that? Simply click on it. Okay, there you go. Okay, this is our starting point. What I'll do right now is I'll just start typing and confirm with the enter key. Uh, step one in adding information really fast is just let the information go from your head through your fingers to the keyboard to the screen. Don't organize all the information during this process that will be step two. So first step, um, map out or add all the information in your head on this topic. Well, for me, smart mind mapping has to do with actions, um, thoughts, ideas. I need to organize it. It goes from my head to the screen. Uh, it needs to be easy 
and fast, of course. I need to use the information when I have it in my mind map. Okay, no, well, this is step one. I took a little brainstorming session for myself and added this with you on the screen. Next step is I need to organize all this. What you can do is you can select a node and as you can see there's the goldish border again so it is selected and you can drag it to anywhere you want so it will be now added as a sub node to organize or it will be placed below organize so when I release the left mouse button now it's all below there when I click it hold the mouse button and I go to this position it's behind organize what I can also do is select a uh, window left mouse button press it keep it pressed release and it's there okay I have to go from my head to my screen and it needs to go fast and it must be easy to do okay what we did right now is we took our information in our head and we added it to our mind map and as you can see it's now a lot clearer already than what we had in the beginning there's another thing that's very important in mind mapping and that's the usage of notes many people when they start mind mapping they're a little bit afraid that all the details details I will miss out on that and I will not know what is happening with all the information and what is relevant to me hmm okay what most people do then is they do something like this they type in long lines of text which are not really practical hmm. okay let's have a look at that I, I can do this uh, I can get all this text on the screen by left mouse button dragging this to the right what I can also do is double click anywhere in the um, background double click left mouse button and the map is now in um, it's it's fully on the screen so if we had more information and this would be uh, a longer line it would be a little bit small uh, sure uh, smaller than the mind map but it would also fit on the screen this is not something you want not all information in long lines and well you can imagine what happens when I copy and paste another line behind this another line another line and I make it appear on the screen again completely fully extended okay so you understand what happens when you do this your entire mind map is not easy to read so we need a solution for that I select this I press delete and we are back where we were uh, something really smart uh, created for this not something you can do on paper but it's called the notes screen and as you can see here it is note uh, what you can also do and oh by the way this is gray because I didn't select anything in the mind map when I do this and I click note now I can add the note um, what we can do is we can take all this information and I cut this from the uh, mind map so control plus X uh, lines lines is for me the, the keyword that describes that long lines of text are not really practical and I paste this control V in the note screen close this one and what you can see is there's a little icon now that tells me there's a note attached to this one um, something happened maybe you didn't see this maybe you did see this uh, the mind map is now created from this point downward and then it starts at the top here also down so it's not clockwise like normally on uh, paper you would create mind maps we need to fix that and the easiest way to do that is go to the big mind mapper button and then at the bottom it says mind mapper options okay we click this and here we have the uh, mapping direction so this could be all kinds of directions we'll talk about that later 
no need to look at that now, um, the miscellaneous. Click it, go to the bottom, and it says here under etc. The radial direction should be clockwise. Very important. Make sure that you uh, change that. And also uh, enable auto save every 15 minutes. You might even go for every 5 minutes if you're working on a um, an important mind map. So make sure that you uh, choose the right uh, setting for that. Um, these are very important. Uh, the direction clockwise. When you did that, press OK. And as you can see, we now go from organize to head to use to lines. Before it was use on top and lines at the bottom. We'll drag the mind map a little bit to the center of the screen. And as you can see, um, it's really easy to create a new mind map. Just use these uh, mind map options once and all the time you will be uh, able to use uh, your mind map settings that way. You, you change it once, works all the time. By the way, uh, another thing, uh, under the default style, it says color and it's probably fixed on your computer. I would go for custom and what I did was um, I selected a bunch of uh, blue colors and then went to gray. Uh, this way my mind map is in a certain uh, color gradation uh, instead of just being all bluish lines. It's uh, really boring for your brain and you need to give your other, your more colorful brain side a little bit more uh, variation. Don't just use one simple color. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Uh, very important, last thing, I want to tell you about the uh, personal coaching call. Go back into your email and click on the link to sign up if you want to have a personal session with me. Uh, you need to remember there's a limited number of seats of course and to make sure that you sign up today, do this right now. If you uh, watch this video via another link or on another uh, location which is not on the website you should go to uh, this URL uh, mindmapshop.com slash mindmapper videos all one word small letters so mindmap uh, shop mindmap dash shop.com slash mindmapper videos there will be a um, a little box that says uh, sign up here. I will send you the information for the download of MindMapper. I will send you the MindMapper videos and you can sign up for the personal coaching call there. That's it for now. Stay tuned for uh, the next video and the next video will be about uh, using images and clip arts. Very important, very important. And uh, how you can do this the easy way and not the way most people do this. Okay, um, I'll talk with you later. I um, look forward to working with you on the uh, personal coaching call and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.